Greetings. Hello, friend. We meet again. <clears throat> oh, yeah. You're creepy. So good. Freaking creepy. Indeed. I've seen far more sorrow in the eyes of many I've met. I myself have plenty of regrets. And one day they'll die with me. Gone to dust with my good deeds and unfulfilled dreams. Let's start Final Fantasy. We were going to go to the beach yesterday and guess what happened? It was hot. It was freaking <laughs> hot. You know what it is? Freaking we We went outside and it was freaking hot. And we were like, ew. <laughs> we're going to stay home and play Helldivers <laughs> all day. <laughs> So. Yeah, finale day. Are y'all excited? It's gonna, it's gonna be We're a long fucking one. Fucking excited but today. If, if you guys weren't here before, how we finished previous expansions, we just bust through it. This, We're do this it. is it. We're just gonna run through it. So if y'all are with us today, <laughs> stay with us the whole time. So we're gonna do this. I'm fixing you guys. You guys just got real up close and personal with me just now. Mm hmm. Eight hours is nothing. <laughs> have you not seen? We've done 12 hour streams before. We, we cut have? it down. No, we haven't. I think the longest one we did was you. 10. No, we've done a 10 hour stream together. No, I think it was nine. And it's a thing. We've done it. You've done an 18 hour stream. I've done an 18 hour stream. That wasn't bad either. Did not sleep. I was not home that day. Hopefully we're not on for 14 and a half hours today. We're not going to be on for 14 and a half hours. Hopefully but. not. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, no. There's a Mad TV Olive Garden sketch. I don't remember that. Look what I can do. What can you do? Oh. <laughs> That's what's his name. I forgot his name. The, his name is... Oh, is it? His name is Michael. His character. No, his character. Oh. His name is Stewie. Was it Stewie? Stuart. Yes, Stuart. 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 You stop it right now, Stuart. Oh, that's where I get that from. You stop it right now. Look what I could do. Uh oh, your thing is small again. Oh, make it big. Why did it get small? We need boomer mode, bro. We do need boomer. Y'all can't read that. What's going on here? Boom. There you go. Boomer mode. <laughs> <laughs> we need to... <laughs> it, oh, so big. it needs to be as big as it. Look at how big this is, right? You, you guys can see that, right? Yeah, okay. So that's what we need, right? That's so big. <laughs> we sit a pretty far distance away from our monitors. No, so. we do not. <laughs> we do not. It is not across the room like it is when we break we down the We need an IMAX experience when we're playing our games. We... <laughs> Everything in 4K. <laughs> I think I can see it now. Goodness. If it's that big, it's all 4K. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Hey, guess what? What's up? We can fly. It is the jam. Oh, the glissando jam? This is our glissando <laughs> jam. We got back to this area with doing our flying thing. And I was like, I can listen to this. All, all day. day. I'm gonna play this in the car all day. <laughs> the other thing I said was this ship looks nothing like the thing that's in the main screen of the the, the intro screen. That's why I'm curious what's going. Why? Happen why? Here. It's not blocky. Look, this looks like it's from freaking Gundam or something. <laughs> we definitely <laughs> still got it wrong. <clears throat> Alpha! All present and accounted for. Good. Yes, we have. Is, is that the only thing that's different in this scene? As you will have heard, the Ark is ready. <clears throat> All that remains <clears throat> is to board and be on your way. All right. Oh, I've seen my fair share of 
tight schedules, but this was bloody murder. Sid, you've been gone for a long time. But we did it. We finished the ship. Wow. Good job. It's safe, fit for purpose, and looks good to boot. Aye. It's a garland through and through. There you go. Nero is so cool. Nero. I'm a Nero fan. I know you are. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't know what we'd do without you. Thank you. For everything. Ah, oh, don't mention it. Ever since that episode with Omega, I've been toying with the idea of star-faring vessels. And as they say, necessity is the mother of invention. We've learned a lot, let me tell you. Alpha's the best. He saved us. He had an invisible cloak, and he made us invisible and tiny. In case you're wondering about payment, the ongoing existence of the world <clears throat> is more to do. <clears throat> but feel free to throw in a colorful recounting of your journey on your return. Of course. They took my so, helmet. My have you thought of a name? Ragnarok. <laughs> That's a cool name, huh? That's the one in Final Fantasy VIII. It's called Ragnarok. Oh, is it really? Yeah. A name? Wasn't everyone just calling it Father's Teeny Tiny Toy Boat? <laughs> <laughs> well, seeing as its purpose has changed, I thought a more eloquent name was in order. I suggested as much to Fortuno, who seemed quite amenable to the idea. Yggdrasil. As you know, this vessel is the culmination of heretofore unprecedented collaboration. And though said collaboration is owed to the Scions, there is another whose noble deeds made our work possible. Your From a grandfather. fragment of Dalamud, we obtained not only advanced materials such as refined adamantite, but the knowledge to traverse the stars. And this fragment would not have found its way to yeah, us had the Archon Luiswa not fought to protect this world. And in so doing, laid down his life. Now that the vessel stands complete, I cannot help but wonder if it was more than mere happenstance. If it was my father's intention to guide us here. Oh, is it, is it Father's Day? <laughs> <laughs> In the hopes that his guidance will yes. see you yes. safely home, I name the vessel after that self same fragment of Dalamud he delivered unto us. <clears throat> the Starship <laughs> Ragnarok. Stop it! How did you do that? <laughs> <laughs> I got it right, guys. I got it. What? I got it right. I, no, you're good. <laughs> I got it. I got. I got it right. I got. Did you get that right? Uh, well, How it's weird! The, it, it's the coolest ship ever. Ragnarok was oh awesome. Oh my gosh. <laughs> We got it. Ragnarok. <laughs> We're done. We figured it out. Sorry for the wait. I got everyone you asked for, and not a one less. Oh, Sigurd. Oh, yeah, Sigurd. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's here. Look at this. We even got a move What are you all doing here? Oh, I invited them. The representatives of those tribes with religious inclinations. Great. You've done a fine job of readying the Ragnarok, but for it to take flight, we'll of course need the power of the Mother Crystal. The Highwind was cool too. 
What? Where's the high one? The high one was Final Fantasy Seven. Oh. I forgot what it was called on nine. I forgot what it was on nine. Oh, I'm sure somebody will pop up. Given its immense yeah. size, however, transporting it would be an absolute logistical nightmare. Not to mention we'd need to shatter it into tiny shards for feeding to the engines. But a brilliant idea came to me. Oh, yeah. We convert the crystal energy into forms that can transport themselves. That's nice. Huh. Oh. The Lego is trying. Oh. Oh. <laughs> he trying to that change the camera. That would employ camera. summoning. Or should I say its precursor, <clears throat> creation magics. Interesting. Care to explain for our benefit? As you may have witnessed at Bestway's Burrow, the Loperids are capable of creation magics, which they use to shape the moon's environment. Yet simple though they make it seem, tis a highly advanced and exacting art. To perform it correctly requireth that the wielder holdeth the object in his mind's eye in clearest detail. Hence the ancient's meticulous management of concepts. Yeah, you make sure you say, Diagon Alley, not diagonally. <laughs> Drawing upon Nerd. this art, the Asians <laughs> conceived of summoning as we know it. A derivative that replaceth the complexity of concepts with the simplicity of zealotry to make manifest a creation. I see. By combining the Loperit's magics and the tribe's faith, we convert the Mother Crystal into primals oh. of purer form and greater obedience. Oh. <clears throat> Summoning as it was intended, one might say. Interesting. Yeah. Indeed! Indeed! Indeed. So, summoning was just the form of the creation magic. Yeah. That's cool. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. gave us the ability to use creation magics, she forbade us from using it to make anything possessed of a soul or similar. She didn't say anything about fulfilling the desires of others, though. So, borrowing our friend's faith, we'll create deities using the Mother Crystal's power and send them to the Ragnarok! <laughs> Am I the only Loophole. one here concerned about the risk of being turned into a tempered minion? We have the scales. Right, I was getting to that. From what I've read in Charlie and Tomes, it appears the Asians incorporated an additional nasty element into their summoning method. The fervent desire to assimilate others into one's belief. Mm. Beings thus created mm -hmm. are instilled with the self-same desire and use their powers to enthrall people, starting with the summoner. In contrast, our creation magics the original and the best, <laughs> except no substitutes. Don't incorporate any of that rubbish, so there's no risk of tempering. I mean, if the being was on the scale of Zodiac, you might feel a little tug, but I think we'll be safe enough. Hmm. Wow. Truth be told, I do not understand the intricacies of this plan. That's fair. But none of us would ever turn our backs on you. When Yay. the avatars of our faith ran amok, you intervened without decrying we who birthed them. I love Where Saravon. others vilified and suppressed us, you offered understanding and friendship. Mm. In gratitude, we will share with you the true expressions of our gods. <clears throat> Not malevolent deities, but benevolent saviors. Hmm. All right, you lot, we're heading to the ethereal sea. Stay in sight, else you're liable to get lost. Lead the way. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. May we have a moment? He's In anticipation of the day man might journey to the stars, 
We developed these. Portable teleportation devices. One for each of you, designed to work in tandem. Press the button on one, and in a matter of moments, all eight will activate and send their owners wow. back to the Ragnarok. There is no telling what hazards you may encounter. If you find yourself separated or lost, please do not hesitate to use this handy. Be like safe, G all of you, GTFO card. and come back. Yeah. <laughs> You as well. I pray you take care. Looks like everything is in order. So I'll go ahead and board. A few of my fellows will remain to assist with the summonings, but rest assured, the vessel won't want for competent crewing. Thanks, Mark Viola. I just saw you. If you are ready, then you should board as well. Go. And Godspeed. Here we go. It's tonight. Yeah, it's Igor. <laughs> oh, they never load at the same time. Oh my gosh. It's like we're gonna... We're, we're gonna control the Megazord or something. Oh, there goes Sleeping Way. How'd you know? Or is it Dreaming Way? It must be Sleeping Way. Welcome to the bridge, everyone! I hope you have everything, because I can't be bothered turning back. Off sync. Annoying. Right then. Make yourselves comfortable. We're setting off in just a moment. Here we go. This is the last stretch right here. I'm so excited. This is it. It's incredible. Wow. This is Fortuna. Can you hear me? Yes. The preparations for the summonings are complete. In accordance with the 14th phase of the plan, we <clears> have <throat> moved the Ragnarok to the launch site. The 14th phase. Because it's 14. You're really excited about that. The gates are open. <laughs> you may depart when ready. <laughs> Is that on purpose? I don't know. As ready as we'll ever be. Let's get going. Open the bloody gate. Come on. Burned out star's got more fire in its belly. Oh, <laughs> my God. Try it again. With feeling. <laughs> Let's do it. Well, no, we gotta do it. Why? Have Alphino do it. Should we have Alphino do it? Yeah. All right. All right, we'll have Alphino do it. Do the honors, Alfie. Me? But I... See, the leader. No need to be coy, brother. Do it, and do it well. If you all insist. <clears throat> Onward unto the distant stars <laughs> and beyond. Yes. Ragnarok, engage. Yes. <laughs> engage. Engage. <laughs> yes. He would make a good cosplayer, this Alfie.
Are we coming out of the water? No. I thought it was gonna be an X-Men thing. We're not in the water. <laughs> oh my god, what is not to love about bunnies powering a spaceship? <laughs> oh, we're going through gates here. Propulsion gates. Mighty winds exist not only to buffet and batter. <laughs> Nay, they may serve also to thrust forth with vigor. Such is thy glory, and thus it is an occasion to rejoice. He's so cool. So I come, like let us revel. Because he's Lord of the Revel. <laughs> this he says, I'm a whale. <laughs> so long as the wind blows freely, I suppose all is as it should be in creation. <laughs> I will render unto them a storm that they may pierce the firmament and fly free. He's cool. Yeah, Garuda was my favorite for a while. Oh, she is. Wow. Oh. She sounds completely different. What is happening? Did we just open a wormhole? <clears throat> yes, that solar flare. Look at that. Oh, man. Oh, my gosh. Space. That was it. Still in one piece? Good. Sleeping way? Report? <laughs> All's well. Fantastic even. We didn't even we didn't even have to sit down. Buckle up or anything. We're just standing there. Thanks to the power of those primals. The engines are roaring and we're ripping along. I'm just sleeping away. All values are also within protected ranges. Time to destination is eight carats. <laughs> Perhaps seven at a pinch. <laughs> of course it's measured in carats. All right. Let's go over some points of caution. Our destination, as you know, is Ultima Thule. Lest you wonder, the place is not a star so much as a patch of emptiness. That's the extent of what our equipment could determine, anyway. From what we know of Meteon, she's likely used Dynamis to obfuscate her location. She said obfuscate. 
instead of obfuscate. So, in conclusion, we'll only know what's there when we get there. Check the VOD. The crew and I will see to it the ship's ready to take off at a moment's notice. We'll support the search as best we can, but it'll be your paws on the ground, assuming there is any. But everything will be fine, I'm sure. Heidelin believes in you, so you ought to believe in yourselves. Just don't do anything I wouldn't. Like waiting too long to use those portable teleporters of yours. <laughs> I feel like that will be instrumental in our getting out later. Hmm. Personally, at the slightest sign of trouble, I'd mash the button to bits. And you should as well. Understood. We promise to be careful. I suggest you brace yourselves. We're about to arrive and the vessel will shake a good bit. Oh my god, Mapping Way has the best voice. <laughs> Doesn't he? Yeah. Oh, I man. suggest you brace yourselves. Theodore? You sound like Theodore. Theodore? Yeah. The, the chipmunk? The chipmunk. <laughs> hey, what is this? Something is... Oh, interfering with the equipment. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, it's uh, Medion. Duh. Greetings. Hello, friend. We meet again. <clears throat> oh, yeah. You're creepy. So good. Freaking creepy. Greetings. Can you hear me? <laughs> it's her, the bringer of despair. <laughs> it's just saying Medion. <laughs> Medion. So this is Meteon. <laughs> she did. <laughs> Color oh. and everything. <laughs> Have you met one of my sisters? Oh, you're not Meteon. You're not Meteon. I don't remember meeting you myself. But I do know that you're from Atheris. Why have you come? All you had to do was wait. I would have delivered to you your ends. We didn't ask for that. I don't understand. All life is destined to end. Why choose to prolong your suffering? Effort, ambition, love. They amount to naught. Happiness, should you find it, is inevitably lost. Stolen away by events beyond your control. There is no logic nor meaning in it. You think there is. Convince yourselves. But it's all a cruel accident. Come now. I speak the truth. A truth you would recognize if you looked up at the night sky. Unbroken emptiness. Cold, dark, and silent. Your world, like every other, is but a blemish upon its perfect fabric. Life is an anomaly. It is unnatural and cannot continue. The sooner you accept this, the easier it will be. Oh. Just to be clear, we're not here to argue with you. We know that life is fleeting, and that in the short time we have it, we're not assured happiness. Indeed. 
I've seen far more sorrow in the eyes of many I've met. I myself have plenty of regrets. And one day they'll die with me. Gone to dust with my good deeds and unfulfilled dreams. But we accept this. That our existence may seem pointless. That sorrow, rage and despair will always dog our heels. And we press on regardless. That is why Heidlin guided us here. In her boundless love for mankind, she has prepared us for this trial. And in her name, we have come for you. She's gonna laugh. She's gonna be crazy. <laughs> yes. Oh. I sense it. A burning passion like unto fury. I know it well. For the same passion once burned in many a star before yours. Oh my Suffocated gosh. and extinguished. That's now. It's <laughs> They, they what was that a, ripping noise? Oh my gosh. She added a squish in her neck or something. I I can't breathe. Oh gosh. You Just approach the bounds of my ultimate. Where emotions dictate reality. Where resignation and acceptance unite to embrace the end. She essentially said Where you're crossing her boundary. Cling to life, can thrive. Ingrid. Do we have to save him again? By the fury. Thancred? Oh crap, where did Thancred go? Meteon has gone as well. Mayhap he awakened first and gave chase. Uh, everyone? It appears we are at our destination. This, this is Ultima Thule. Not that we knew what to expect, but I wasn't expecting this. <laughs> From atmospheric composition to ambient temperatures, all readings are within permissible range. This place is capable of supporting life. So it was that the brave wayfarers arrived at last at Dream's End. Who's that? In following their path walked and history written, I am made keenly aware of one truth. Though the curtains may fall again and again, so long as others take the stage, ever shall there be more tales to tell. So, let them bring it to a close, I say. Let the curtains fall upon this. The final chapter in the tale of the star. Oh, that's our free. It's our free. <laughs> is it? Yeah. Is it? Yeah, that's our free. Is this 
a dead star. Look at how gorgeous a... that is. <laughs> As I live and breathe, I live and breathe. <laughs> the environment itself shouldn't kill us. Oh, that's good. Well then, let us search for Thancred while exploring the area. The ship we leave in your care. OMG! This is it. What is that? What? What's above us? It's a planet above a planet? Though I can't help but suspect that someone or something is here. There are times when I sense it drawing close, and then a chill washes over me, leaving me exhausted. Leaving me with feelings of death and anguish. I think I might see something over yonder. It's like there's Dementors around or something. CV, a word before we join the others. I can see them too. Mm. Dragons, here. Should we bring the Garsomer out? What you see is a memory of a world that once was. She's just floating up in the sky. It's not creepy at all. A world suffering a slow death. Whose denizens cried out for the release of oblivion. What? Their world is dead? Hmm. It is. Not a single life remains upon that husk floating in the vast emptiness. These creatures are shadow in shade, perpetuated only to suffuse Dynamis with their unending lamentations. Our friend Thancred, where is he? A strange question. He is at your side, is he not? Oh no. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh yes. He is here and there. Oh. And everywhere no. within this space. He would tell you himself if he had form to form words. Oh gosh. Oh no. Huh. Such loathing and uncertainty. You don't know why you still exist. In like manner to the oblivion I send. I tried to drown out your ether with dynamis. Beginning with this Thancred, who came at me despite being unable to breathe. Such a simple thing, unmaking men. In the blinking of an eye, he was gone didn't even have the chance to be transformed. Oh shit. Yet somehow, he managed to leave a slither of himself behind. What you call... the heart? Or perhaps the soul? In his final moment, he... cried out from it. A single word. Survive. <gasps> that wish proved stronger than the despair that ruled here. It overpowered it, causing this space to be remade. Into a place you can perceive, and where life can endure. That you draw breath is proof that his soul lives on. For how long, however? remains to be seen. Well then, we should hurry and tend to business. Huh? It's futile. You will never reach the true me. 
I told you. Emotions dictate reality in this space. Such changes as you might work will not alter in its nature. You may see, but you cannot touch. Walk, but not advance. <laughs> Meteon holds too much sway here. How do we contend with a foe who can unmake us on a whim? She killed Thancred. I do not know. But Thancred gave his life that we might come this far. We must press on. <gasps> Agreed. We cannot turn tail here. Not without something to show for our comrades. Hold sacrifice. on. Hold on. I don't believe that Thancred's actually gone gone. Because we didn't see it happen. If we didn't see it happen, then it's not real. I... I'm going to freak out a little bit if Thancred's gone gone. I don't think he's gone. Hmm. I dislike all of this. This is not okay. Dun, dun. So far, my hypothesis is that we will use the creation stone given to us to revive Thancred in this form. <gasps> mm, I like that. That is my hypothesis. We shall see if it comes to fruition. They are a bit of macabre, aren't they? My, my what? Macar is it, how do you say it? Macabre. 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 <laughs> I read it in my head first when I said it. And then I listened to it. <laughs> it's not macabre. Did you get macarbs for today? <laughs> Macabre. Right. Where are we? Garlemald? Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> Not with that mount. As I walk away with my awesome mount. <laughs> A murky liquid has pooled inside this eggshell. The nauseous. Feeder is indicative of contamination. I've never seen this word before. Huh. Feeder. Foider. Foder. Foder. How do you pronounce foder? <laughs> I think it's feeder. I think you're right. It's not, it looks like a... I had to think about that Fantastic. one. Fantastic. Nearly twisted my neck. All right. <laughs> you craned your neck hard on that one. <laughs> What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's fantastic. I mean, it is, interestingly enough. <laughs> No one ever said that the interestingly enough had to, to pertain to the current topic at hand, right? I mean, I, I guess. that's why it's interesting. The it's boisterous like, howling hath been quieted by thy hand, I presume. It's like a darker Lisa Frank. Do you know what I'm saying? What, like, I don't know. What's a, what's a Lisa Frank? We've talked about Lisa Frank we have. recently in the past six months. We have. We have. What is Lisa Frank? Lisa Frank is this background. But it's like... It's a dark <laughs> Lisa Frank. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. The nineties kid in me is like oh, I love it. You know what it looks like? It looks like those bottles. Or not ball those balls that are like full of glitter and stuff. Yeah. And you color them like this. That's yeah, what yeah, they yeah. look like. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what they like those dollar balls that are bouncy. Mm -hmm. That's like that except flat. 
my 90s kid Lisa Frank in me is just like, yes, please. Oh, this is the school thing, Lisa yeah, yeah. Frank. Oh, got it. With the with the notebooks and stuff yeah, that yeah. We, you showed yeah, me that yeah, one yeah. time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. But the emo high school kid in me is also like, yes. So it's like very emo Lisa Frank, and I'm very excited about it because it's fulfilling all of my childhood needs right now. It comes back around. We started A Realm Reborn with dragons, and now we're back with dragons again. Mm. So good. You know what You know what I got for, for the holiday? What's that? You know what's in the freezer right now? What's that? Ice cream sandwiches. What kind of ice cream sandwiches? They're Neapolitan. Oh, wow. So you're just going to eat the chocolate part and give me the other halves? Nope. I'm going to enjoy the whole thing. <laughs> I saw you already had one yesterday. How was it? It was really good. Yeah, I bet it was. I think you'll really enjoy it. <laughs> I do like me a vanilla ice cream. It's the best kind of ice cream ice there cream is. Ice cream sandwich? Any kind of ice cream with vanilla and it's the best. The best. Oh, it's a talking one. He remaineth as he was when I first approached. Entombed in melancholy. I see. Perhaps I could... I'll handle this. Got the organ out. Check that out. So, waiting to die like all the others, are you? <laughs> Just, I... Our pride is crushed and our souls corrupted. The winds are stilled and the heavens offer no comfort. There is nothing left for our time, our long lives, a curse as we awaken them. Still as stone we shall become. So you say, yet your kind has found a new beginning on our star. Mm. One of you braved the expanse, bearing with him a clutch of eggs. They and their children now rule our skies, their song heard by all. What do you say? Our king? On another star? And yet, upon thee do I smell the blood of my brethren. Were they drawn into discord and war on their new home? They were. They suffered much and repaid their suffering in kind. It mattereth not whether we fly. Ever will a sanguine ocean await us. Sanguine. Ever will a retribution's real turn. Sanguine. And so, on the last of my pride as a dragon, I break free of this wheel. Sounds like a pasta. I renounce conflict, exile myself from the other, never again to be touched by the flames of hatred. Had your brethren made the selfsame choice, my family might still be alive. Mm. Oh, that lasting peace does not come to those who simply retreat from conflict. Mm. No, you must be willing to confront it, to <sighs> stare into the face of your foe and see yourself in him. Oof. Only then can you break the cycle of torment and tragedy. This lesson. A dear friend taught me at the risk of his life. Alfie. There is no nobility in your penance. You wallow in self-pity. And I call him out. And after everything we've endured, we will not let you stop us. What? Did he just turn into... 
Oh, this music. Mestinian! Stay back. We tire of war. We tire of turmoil. Dignity tarnished. Crimson stain. Our misery. Our shame. Too much to bear. Release us from war. From life. I see. This is the emotion that bars our way. <laughs> the rest is up to you. Wow. He did the Thancred no. thing. Not oh, Asinian too. No. They're all dying. Hmm. There's a wind. He's opened the way for us. Sacrificed himself to remake this place, like Thancred did. Mm. <laughs> Ugh, Elfie, oh, no! Oh, no. <sighs> Come, let us follow the wind. It will not lead us astray. He would not. I can't, man. Oh, oh my God, man. I did, I saw something. It was holding something. Ooh. I saw some, something glowing on its <sighs> They're all gonna die. So let me, let me reform my hypothesis from earlier. We're gonna use the creation magics to bring all everybody, of our friends back. Everybody, because everybody's gonna sacrifice Because now everyone's gonna themselves. die. Everyone's gonna die, apparently. Click on that video before I leave the screen. Hurry. Click on it. I'm gonna wait for you to click on it. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm still waiting. Ah, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. <laughs>